Hello, this is Factor X from Pixelsmashers.com, and today we're going to be skidding Resident Evil 6 for the PC. Just a quick note, none of this would have been possible without the great individuals at the Resident Evil 6 modding forum, so don't forget to check them out. I'll put a link to that in the description. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get the Arc tool from the Resident Evil modding forums, and this tool is by Sectus. Alright, so I have everything extracted there, and uh, you just want to go to your Resident Evil folder, which is in your common folder if you're on Steam, and you, from there you just go to Native PC, Arc, DX9, and then you scroll down and find the file you want to edit. So, of course, we're going to work on Leon right now, and we're going to edit his hair and his vests. So this is his skin without the jacket, and those are the two files right there. It's kind of hard to locate, but you got to be really careful with the names of everything in here, and uh, always make a backup. So make a backup before you uh, do any of this. All right, so those are the two files that contain his head and his uh, vest textures and everything like that. So you have all these scripts here, but we're going to make our own uh, real quick. Um, so just make a new folder and back everything up here. We need to make our own because we want to convert the TX files to DDS while we're extracting it. So the default one doesn't really do that for you. So what we're going to do is open up the default one here, the extract one, hit edit. Let's go back and just copy the file names for the ARC files we want to open. Alright, so we'll just copy that and we'll paste it. Now the line we want to add is dash tex and make sure we put dot arc at the end of that uh, file name there. Okay, so just add it right here, dash tex. Alright, and we want to do both of them at the same time, right? So let's copy this whole line and just put it below it and copy the other file name here. Alright, just copy it and don't forget the dot arc extension there. File save as. Okay, uh, just go back to the default folder there and call it um, dot .bat, just call it um, uh, Leon Unpack, something like that. Okay, so we'll save that there. Uh, again, the, the script we're making has to be in the same folder as the arc file and the arc tool.exe, so you see both of them are there. So now let's edit the uh, repack one. This is going to put our files back into the ARC format. So basically we're going to add dash TEX again. Then we're going to copy our file names once again. This time we're not putting the ARC extension. Remember this is the folder that's going to be converted back into the ARC extension. So we're not putting dot ARC at the end. Alright, so just put the other name in there, file save as. Uh, let's go back to our main folder there, the one with the arc in it, arc tool, and call it repackleon.bat and save it. Okay. All right, so let's unpack the files. Both of them will create a new folder. There we go. And let's start by editing the head texture for Leon. All right, so all the textures are in DDS format. They're converted from the TEX files. You can see the original TEX file there. So we just double click on the texture we want. Again, we're doing Leon's hair and take note that there's an alpha channel in this one. So that's going to actually affect um, what you're what you're saving this as. So let's just do something stupid here. I, I don't know, um, smiley face or something like that. All right, now when you're saving it, select DDS, hit save, you want to replace it, yes, and then you have to choose DXT5 with the alpha, okay? Then you hit save and hit OK. Now if it doesn't have an alpha channel, you'll use DXT1 with no alpha channel. All right, so let's just double check, make sure we saved it there. Um, again, you could do this with any other tool that opens DDS files and saves saves them as well. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go to his body texture for the vest there. And this is his model when he's uh, 
in China later on in the game and there's the best texture so we'll just click on that and what else can we do here how about we write some text hello world this is my first Resident Evil 6 skit and let's just make sure it's gonna show up in game and I'll center it for the hell of it looks a little better that way okay I'll just save it now just take note there's no alpha here if you go into the channels so that means we save it as DXT1 not DXT5 okay you wanna replace it DXT1 the very top save there we go so let's just double check to make sure that uh, that took actually okay now it's time to repack everything into an arc so remember that other script we made that batch file just double click on that and you'll take note that the file size depending on what you have done to the textures will change now you just paste them here make sure you made backups of the original arcs otherwise uh, you might have to reinstall it or something there okay so now we launch the game Now I just want to point out when you see this loading screen it shouldn't take one to two minutes it should just take you know around 20 to 30 seconds or whatever it is and then the game should just load if it's not finished in one to two minutes loading then uh, that means you did something wrong uh, with your script uh, repacking it or unpacking it uh, whichever so just definitely take note of this alright so now we're in game And whoa, my guy's hair is yellow. Hello world, this is my first Resident Evil 6 skin. Hmm. So you know what this means, right? We have to run around aimlessly for about 20 seconds. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay, so that concludes our Resident Evil 6 PC skinning tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit our website at pixelsmashers.com. Also, don't forget to visit the Resident Evil modding forums, as what I've shown you is just the tip of the iceberg. They're playing around with models and swapping things around and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, so definitely check out the Resident Evil modding forums. Furthermore, don't forget to check out the description of this video, which I will include more links and information. Again, this is Factor X from PixelSmashers.com. Thanks for watching.